Welcome to Magnolia Bean Supply. Let's talk about the Enel lid a little bit and some of the features that it has. We know that it's an insulated lid and about 15 to 20 percent of the heat loss in the colony is through the lid. So this helps to, to retain some of that heat and better help the bees to better thermal regulate within the box. The lid has five ports on it. Two in the front, two in the back depending on your orientation and one on the top. Um, but it's also important to note that these openings also have vents in them that allow you to potentially use these as openings. So you can turn these so that they're open or turn them so they're closed and they're vent. And we can pull it out and get a little better closer look of the, of the position. We'll put a picture uh, uh, over this video so you get a better closer look at it. Um, you don't necessarily need to take these out um, because you can open them and the bees can use this as an entry point as well. There's also part of the airflow and the dynamics in the box as well. And so if you have your feeder on, in this case, you just use this basic feeder, and you want to ventilate your hive, you can open however many of these that you want. But you want to make sure that the screen is closed on the dial inside. Because if you don't, the bees will figure out that they can get in here, they climb up, and they get to the syrup, or the sugar water, and they can't figure out how to get out, and so they end up drowning. So that's something that you want to be aware of when you're using these, when you're using these lids. They work really well, and you can control it. You can leave them all open if you wanted to, um, and then just leave your feeder in there as your inner cover. And uh, it will help with the airflow. Air can come up underneath through the access port that the bees use to get to the syrup, and that hot air carrying that moisture can evacuate up and then evacuate out through the through the vent ports as well. And that that same thing happens with this feeder as well as this feeder. They do the same thing. So you can leave those ports open. Now if you expect it to be really cold, then you may want to close them up or maybe only have one or two of them open and keeping your feeder in there to help kind of constrict the air from evaporating, evacuating so quickly. Um, it's all part of the system in the way that it's designed, best that I can tell. Um, and then you also have your propolis trap that you can use on here as well kind of as your inner cover and the bees again can get to the propolis trap but they can't get to the port. So the other reason why you might want to open the, the port for a bee access is let's say that you you've got your honey super on if you choose to use a queen excluder or not um, you have your honey super on like this we'll say that this is our Queen excluder, because you can't use a propolis trap, but these can't get through it. And you put this on. Now if you open that port, the bees figure out this this is an entry point and it'll be closer to where they're storing the honey. And there's some people that have the opinion that providing an upper entrance as well as a bottom entrance will help with that that nectar collection and return um, as well. And then it also will help with bees getting in and out just in general but having those ports open will also help them with drying the honey in that part of the process so it's a pretty versatile lid um, you could also have the opening at the top the same thing it's the same port you can be open or closed you just want to make sure that it's closed or screen closed um, if you're feeding and you probably want to keep it closed most of the time anyway um, if your feeder's in there so pretty versatile lid I think we've mentioned in a previous video, this lid also has an NFC chip in it, near field communication that works with the upcoming NL app that will allow you to then record notes for each hive. And you tap the phone, brings up that particular hive, and then you, you record your notes there. So, all in all, pretty good design, in my opinion. Um, works well, my bees are happy, they're enjoying it. and. Uh, they were quite successful with their honey production last year and I'm looking forward to this year. Thanks for watching our video and be sure to check out our website.
www.magnoliabnsupply.com. And if you're an existing NL user, do a search on Facebook for the NL US user group and join there and share your experience with using the NL insulated hives. Thanks.